Hey guys, Izzy here, back with another video, and today, before I even begin the video, I actually want to thank everyone for the amazing support that I've been receiving in the past couple of weeks and months in general. Like, my videos have been popping off, and I'm very happy, honestly. Like, I can't thank you guys enough. It's sometimes a little bit crazy to think that people even watch my videos, so, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much. I really, I really do appreciate you guys, and I, I wanted to say this previously, but every time I record it, I would just forget, and... It's just me. I'm, I'm a very forgetful person, and it, it definitely not because I didn't want to thank you guys. Uh, I'm very, I'm very thankful, honestly. Uh, but yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, let's go, go ahead and <laughs> just jump right into the video. Right today, we're going to be talking about Deathstream 165. I'll be using, of course, the overview for it. Uh, but I wanted to touch on a couple of things, just a couple of things, really, in regards to the the Deathstream. Pretty much, I what I believe are the biggest things, and um. Uh, yeah, anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into it, right? One of the big things, and or the biggest thing, actually, that um, the um, Deathstream actually mentioned was the fact that the Dreary Paradox is going to be, you know, uh, being delayed for 2023, which is unfortunate, of course. I, I really was hoping for, uh, you know, being able to play the Dreary Paradox this year, but, you know, it's totally fine. They are baking it up to us by giving us a prequel, kind of prequel, uh, quest to the Daviri Paradox. It's going to be called Lua's Prey, and it's also going to be including uh, two, I believe they mentioned two game modes, with a, which they only showed off one, which was the Conjunction Survivals, uh, which essentially are just um, survivals that you're able to use your Necromech with as well as an option, of course. It's not like something that you have to do, it, but it's something that you can, I guess. Uh, so that's pretty cool and also very important is where we'll be able to uh, get the um, the new Warframe which is going to be called uh, Varuna. Now very interesting about Varuna the fact that she actually has of course four wolf heads. All four wolf heads have a specific like passive to them so uh, how they mentioned it was the fact that we're able to cycle through the wolf heads and um, it'll have its own passive each they also have their own name which is pretty cool honestly um uh, they don't show them off here but uh basically they um they all give give a, a specific passive they mentioned one like they didn't mention any of them but one of them when when they were describing like how they would work uh one of them mentioned like uh, a wolf that would bring the food to the pack so I'm assuming that one of the heads will probably have like a a, a sort of life leech uh, or life seal to her kid. So I, that's that's gonna be really cool. Uh, she's looking really nice, honestly. Compared to her um compared to her, her artwork, I was not expecting her to look this good. So yeah, like they're doing an excellent job, honestly. I I, I can't complain. I really can't complain. Uh, but as you can see here, uh, Lua's prey is gonna be jam packed actually with a lot of a lot of things like uh two new survival notes uh new narrative and uh as you can see they're going to be giving us the 51st warframe which is going to be uh varuna so yeah like a lot of a, a, really a lot of content here that they're going to be providing like before we get this though we're going to have of course um the uh echoes of veilbreaker so yeah it's it this is not that big of a deal like we're going to have like new missions for for uh cal uh and a new Steinax alt helmet. I'm not sure if that you're gonna add that to the store. Uh, it would make sense, right? But some really cool things here, but not that big of a deal, honestly. Not what I really wanted to talk about. Um, oh, and they also showed off like the uh, <laughs> the ephemeris for um, for the uh, shards. Uh, they mentioned they, they showed this off in the last left death stream that were they were working on it, but it wasn't ready just yet. Now you'll be able to go ahead and you know flex your non tile forge ch ch charts, which is which is yeah, excellent. You know, I, I I love the fact that I can't uh, flex my fucking tile forge charts because I don't have any. Well, I have one, but yeah. <laughs> uh, but in all in all fairness, it looks really good. It, it looks really good, but you can barely tell that the shards are actually tile forge, as you can see here. This one's tile forge, but you can kind of you can kind of tell, but it's not it's not that visually you know. Uh, great like it's not like this 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 looks a lot more like you can see the the chart 
like actually fucking fuming. So yeah, but anyways, <laughs> getting sidetracked here. Um, but yeah, um, Lula, Lula's Prey is gonna be um, next. Uh, so it's gonna be December. So after Echoes of Veilbreaker, well, I'm assuming December, right? Um, but it's just, it's this year, that at least. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be able to play through these uh, new modes, um, which look pretty cool, and we're gonna have the new Warframe uh, and also. Uh, the new weapons. Um, I'm not a huge fan of how the axe looks and how the rifle looks, but it they look pretty nice. Uh, honestly, I don't I don't mind them. Uh, the axe himself, yeah, I just feel like the axe's design is like kind of all over the place, but you know it's pretty cool. Oh, and they also showed off this guy. Uh, this guy, if you guys don't know, is uh, the executor uh, Tuval, and uh, yeah, he's gonna be a big part of the. Um, of the quest because he's very involved in Verona's lore apparently so we're gonna see a lot of him I love the design he looks absolutely fucking dope as hell like I really just like how they designed the organ in general so yeah <laughs> uh, but anyways yeah the new game mode congestion survival uh, as you can say he see here yeah they use um, you can use your necromex and such so that's gonna be real cool um, and uh, aside from that uh, before I go to the main thing, it is the uh, protocol skins. Basically, these are skins that just look like IRL weapons, and this looks so out of fuck. Like, let me just say, this looks so out of fucking place for Warframe. Like, just look at Wisp with a fucking revolver, and, and just look at this. Look at this. Uh, she's gonna grab a fucking uh, a, a fucking Uzi, bro. Like. <laughs> This looks so fucking insane uh but yeah that's pretty cool uh anyways yeah they're they're releasing the deluxe skin for uh saku pretty soon it's looking quite nice it's still in work in progress and this is a skin that they're going to have i'm pretty sure it's gonna be bundled up bundled up with saku skin because this looks absolutely fucking insane this is for uh this is for the lotus the first time we're receiving skins for the lotus uh from aside from the ones that we already have absolutely dope like the artwork looks absolutely dope and in the death stream they did show off the 3d model without the you know the colors and such and it it was looking almost exactly the same honestly uh but here's what we really want to talk about aside for like lua spray um i mainly wanted to talk about this this beauty <laughs> uh so as you guys know uh d has been actively trying to verify like what they could do for uh, explosive weapons, AOE weapons in the game, because to some degree they've been very detrimental to uh, you know the the gameplay of Warframe. Like uh, it's it's a very overwhelming um, majority that people that that you know people play with um, with AOE weapons uh, versus literally any other weapon. And to a degree, I understand because I mean it's a horde game and AOE is probably always going to be king in an, in a fucking court like game like warframe uh but i do understand their point in the fact that yeah it's a bit much like literally all other weapons just absolutely get ignored just because they're not aoe and you know that's kind of it's kind of that that's kind of a bummer because there's a lot of really good weapons out there that are not aoe and just get ignored or don't get as used as much which would highly encourage uh the uh the developers to um not design non-aoe weapons and then you know I, I kind of get it right so i understand why they want to work so much on this this is still a work in progress and they did mention that this is not something that they are planning to implement just yet it is working to the satisfactory as they mentioned on the death stream but basically uh what they want is that so they want to remove self sagger with the aoe's but they want to bring self damage back and basically how it would work is you would never be able to one shot yourself with a uh with an aoe weapon so i'm assuming you're able to at least two shot yourself or three shot yourself whatever uh depending on how this is exactly gonna work uh so basically you're always going to be hitting yourself with a maximum of 75 percent uh but it will be reduced to 50 oh but yeah i'm not sure about that but anyways uh it'll never it'll never one shot you you'll always be able to survive it 
but it'll encourage people to play a little bit more careful with their AoE weapons, namely things like the fucking Cuba Brahma, which people would just absolutely blow themselves up and they'd be fine. You know, it kind of doesn't make that much sense, but it's a it's it's a game and it's whatever. It's it's not always going to have to make fucking sense. Uh, but they did share off the fact that since there is a lot of explosive weapons that just, you know, like this right here, it throws a shunk that also explodes. Uh, they did mention that those shunks are not going to be affecting your warframe at all. It's only the main explosive or, or main explosion of the uh, of the weapon. So, yeah, that's going to be... I don't know exactly where I stand on this, honestly, because I do feel like people should be able to play however they want. Uh, but I also do understand the thought process of, well, if it's not an AoE weapon, people are just not going to use the weapon. So, uh, it's, you know, kind of, it's kind of disheartening to, to the devs if they've created like really, really cool working weapons that are single target or not expansive AoE weapons. And they just don't get used because they're not AoE. Uh, I personally use a lot of AoE weapons. I, I use single target as well, but you know, it's something that I, I definitely understand why they want to change it basically. Um, but yeah, they, they showed it off and I, I feel like to some degree, I, be, I believe 75 is too much, right? I, I, I feel like 75 is just a little bit too much. Maybe bring back the, you know, the self damage, but have it be maybe 25 percent 30 percent not too much to the point where literally if you make <laughs> the same mistake twice you're gone you're, you're, you're shit, like later it's, you're, you're dead like just make it punishing but not extremely punishing right because you're just you don't want to just kill off these weapons as well right like you just don't want to uh but you will want people to just you know be more careful and that makes sense uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it as to what they showed off. That's pretty much everything that I kind of want to talk about. What do you what do you guys think about like? Did, do you guys want self damage? Do you guys think that it makes sense for self damage to exist in Warframe? Uh, let me know in the comments section below. I really would like to know if you guys are are you know into this shit like um, not in a weird way, but <laughs> you know just self damage in Warframe, guys. Jesus. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about the changes that they're going to make. Uh, what do you feel about, you know, the Debiri Paradox being uh, delayed for the next year? And yeah, let me know what you guys are hoping to see in the next upcoming updates. And yeah, again, thank you guys so much for tuning in today's video and in general, tuning into my videos. I really do greatly appreciate it. And I hope you guys uh, have a nice day <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.